Right, here we are in the shed again. Um, I'm just doing a little job on this uh, Rally Roma scooter. I'm going to fit um, a rectifier on because I want to change the uh, the light. I'm going to upgrade the lights on it. The, the lights at the moment are uh, AC like this, and uh, I'm going to convert them to DC because I want to put indicators on. I want to improve the lights and AC lights are not great so I've got this Rally Roma scooter which I'm going to convert and I had a few people on the internet um, when they're trying to fit these solid state rectifiers onto old bikes it's confusing and it's no wonder because they're not marked they're not marked properly when you when you're getting these old old two-stroke bikes they always come with these uh, old selenium rectifiers and they don't work. They, they didn't work in the first place, they don't work now, they're 50 years old. So you need to be putting one of these on. It's called a bridge rectifier. You get them on eBay or wherever, electrical shops sell them. They're, um, I think it was £2.50, they're for nothing. And the solid state, they're brilliant, absolutely brilliant things. The problem is with them, is they're dead simple to fit. The problem is they're not they're not marked up properly. As you can see on this one, it's got a plus sign there. You might just be able to see it, I think. It's got a plus sign and you've got AC. On these others, you haven't got any there's no marks on it. There's no marks on, on it to tell you what these other terminals are. And if you don't know, it's well, there's no way there's nowhere to find out. So basically when you get one of these, they all look, the other one that I've had looks the same. And you've got a positive and negative and two AC terminals. Now sometimes these AC terminals here, they don't have AC on, they have a little sine wave on, which is, looks like a letter S like that. So if you see an S on, it's got it's a sine wave, that's, the, that's an AC terminal. On this one it just says AC. And they're opposite one another, so that's AC and that's AC, which is that and that. That's the positive, Di diagonally opposite is the negative. So that's positive and that's negative. It doesn't say that, but that's how they are. Okay, so that's your positive, that's negative. Those are two ACs, and it doesn't matter which one is which, they're not, they're both the same. Okay, now what you're doing is the reason you want to change sometimes you want to change AC to DC or just replace this rectifier is this rectifier um, rectifies AC current to DC current. Now, AC current, if you don't know, is the you've got a, um, a coil inside your magneto and as the flywheel passes over the coil the current goes back and forward so it goes in that direction and then that direction and then that direction so the current is flowing back and forwards it doesn't go from one to the other like that it's going back and forwards the problem is with AC is you can't store it there's no reservoir of, 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 of energy once you stop the flywheel all this is gone so if you need a battery you need DC. That's a, that you now you've got a reservoir of, of, uh, of electrical potential, and AC is direct current. And direct current is the supply goes directly from positive to negative, and it just goes in one direction. So as opposed to going back and forwards, it goes in one direction. Now you can charge the battery up, and you've got a reservoir of electricity. So when you're running. When the engine's running and you haven't got the lights on, charge the battery up. You've got a lot more more uh, potential, electrical potential, to to switch lights on. So your lights will be better. Your lights will not go dim when you're ticking over. Um, and you can wire other things in, like indicators and whatever. So that's the reason you want to go from AC to DC. Is it's a more stable supply, and you can't store AC. So, if you want to, what I'm doing is, uh, this is just a, this bike I've got here, this scooter, is it just AC? So I'm going to fit some DC lights on it. 
So what I need to do is is to get me me uh, me new rectifier, my bridge rect. This hasn't got a rectifier on because it's purely AC. So what I'm going to do is is to take the supply that comes out of your magneto will either have two wires which is wire A and B that's your coil inside your, your flywheel or it will have one wire coming out and the other wire will go to earth inside the magneto so you've only got one wire coming out of, a, of a, an AC supply it's a half wave rectification if you've got two wires it's, it's a full wave rectification so if you've got two wires coming out we we'll call them wire A and wire B wire A goes to one side of the AC one side of your bridge rectifier and the other wire B goes to the other side doesn't matter which way around they go they're both the same these two but you've got to get one to one and one to the other your positive goes to your battery positive put a fuse in there and then negative goes to earth and your battery negative to earth or you can actually take a wire straight from there to there it's the same thing that's that's it that's how, that's how that wire fits in there's nothing more complicated than that if you have one wire coming off your magneto that must mean that the other wire say so one wire A coming out the other wire B must go to earth inside the magneto as it wouldn't wouldn't generate electricity because it wouldn't have a uh, you wouldn't have a circuit so if you've only got one wire coming out then the wire A goes to either one of them so wire A will go to an AC connection and nothing on the other side just leave it leave it off so if you've only got one wire coming out your magneto and that's live put that wire A to one of the AC connections and nothing to the other side and again positive to your battery negative to earth and that's it that's how it works if you've got two supplies coming out then if you've got two of these coming out then you've got you have to split them both and put two wires on A and two wires on B but you need to, to make sure that the same the same ones and that's it really it's, it really is a, as simple as that but the, the problem arises when these things aren't marked they're very very poorly marked but uh, they work brilliant they, they really does work brilliantly I'll just show you what I'm doing on this one. This is the scooter that I'm working on. <coughs> and uh, let's put on this other side here. So I've got three wires. Oops, here we go. I've got three wires coming from out of the magneto. Okay. The blue wire is common to both there's two coils inside there I've got the, the brown wire is my ignition coil for the ignition coil and the brown on the black wire is to the lights and this is the other side of, of both of them so that this wire is common to that one and that one so that's one supply that's the other supply and this is the common wire to the other side okay so if I connect that to that that's a connection that's a, 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 a supply and this one to the to the brown one that's another supply the brown wire on this one goes to up, up inside into my ignition coil up there that brown wire there and that's the blue wire for the other side of it so that brown and blue wire goes to there and that's that's the uh, supply for my ignition coil <coughs> the black wire will go to one side of my rectifier and the blue wire will go to the other side of the rectifier on those two AC connections and then I'll have 6 volt DC coming off the positive and negative and that's it it really is as simple as that it's not complicated but if it's not explained it's 
can be a bit difficult to follow. Can be a bit difficult to follow. So going back to this diagram here, that'll be my brown wire, and that's my blue wire. Sorry, the brown wire and blue wire on that one is my ignition cord. That'll be my black wire, and that'll be my blue wire. Okay, hope that's uh, clear.